the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 70, Deuteronomy 33 to 34, Psalm 90. Moses is five step leadership. The will of Moses, who blessed the future of Joshua and the Mano generation that was to open a new age, became the guideline for opening the period of Canaan. First point Jacob blessed his 12 sons and Moses blessed the 12 tribes. Before his death, Jacob blessed his 12 sons and this blessing became the foundation for the 12 tribes of Israel. Moses later blessed the 12 tribes of Israel. Jacob's blessing became the vision for Exodus, and Moses' blessing became the vision for Canaan. Moses was a father, a teacher, and a leader to the Israel nation. Second point, the Genesis ends with Jacob's death and Deuteronomy ends with Moses' death. When Jacob died, Joseph read his funeral. When Moses died, Joshua read his funeral. Although Moses was unable to enter Canaan, he read the most incredible life for 120 years, and he was able to go to God with the knowledge that Joshua would continue his good job. Third point, in the Bible, God's people become wiser with age. To look at the life of Moses, we see how he lectured to the Mano generation right up until his death, and then recorded the first five books in the Bible when he was 120 years old. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were not weak nor his strength gone. Like this, Moses' last days were the best of his life. And this was the end of the Mana generation's 40-year desert life in practicing to be holy citizens in a kingdom of priests. Following on from here, the era of Joshua as the leader of Israel began. Fourth point, reading funerals became Moses' important role. Who in this world would have been to more funerals than Moses? During the 40 years in the desert, Moses led the funeral of the Exodus generation. Reading funerals became one of Moses' important roles. Moses saw countless people dying in the desert. His experiences are recorded in Psalm 90. Fifth point, Moses' leadership summarized in five points. Moses' leadership was built on humbleness. Moses was more humble than anyone. Moses was also a negotiator. Moses negotiated ten times during the six months in Egypt. Moses was also a man of faith. He was able to pull off God's miracles with his unyielding faith. Moses' leadership was also expressed through education. He educated the Exodus generation and also the Mana generation. Moses' leadership was about passing down faith. God evaluated that Moses was a noble person. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story. 
from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.